Okay, so what is your current relationship like with Freddie Wap and Monty? I don't fuck with them niggas. I we'll deal with each other. That's the and that's that. That's it. Feel me? Okay. Okay. All right. So you recently were in jail. How did that change your? How did that experience change? You know, your life or your perspective or anything like that. I don't know, it just kind of, you know, had me kind of like, you know what I mean, thankful to be home with my family and my, my real niggas that support me and shit and that I support so I could get home and I just felt like I needed to get home, I got unfinished business, even if I gotta go, feel me, you know yeah. I mean, gotta go do whatever, like, feel me, I, I got business to here do now, you feel me, I'm gonna cross that bridge when I get there, so, you already know. Okay. Actually, I have a question. Sorry to bring this back up about the Fetty Wap Monty situation. You dropped the song No Vaseline. What what made you drop that song? Well, last year when we parted ways, it was the same time that the movie came out. So I kind of like ran with that hashtag Dice Cube. Feel me? A lot of motherfuckers okay. started hashtagging yeah, it. Yeah. It became like a little like know what I mean, a little saying or whatever, but. I just, I mean, I felt like, I felt like I had to do that. Like, I felt like that was the right thing to do. Like, 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 history is repeating itself. Feel me? And, and, and Ice Cube, one of my icons. So, I had to, I had to big up the homie at the same time. You feel me? Dig a ditch for niggas. Most definitely. So, in, in the Straight Outta Compton movie, and obviously the story in real life, Ice Cube, he, he had problems in WA because of the money. Was it a money situation with you? Yeah, it was, it was a money situation, jealousy situation, all that. But things I've been new, but I was still running with the wave. Just, now, man, I'm still running with the wave. Like, we can get past all that. But it was a little jealousy and hitting agendas and shit against me. Never me against nobody else. I built that whole squad. I built everybody flow in that squad. So, never know. I embrace niggas. So, I mean, I never hate so. But other than that, it was just like a, it was, it was a dispute with some other guys and you already know, like I said it before, feel me? Like, they, WAP ain't want to deal with it, so I had to go. You know what I'm saying? I got you, I got you. Sorry about the connection. Um, Okay, so you were recently bailed out by Wonderboy Entertainment. What do you, um, uh, what can we expect from that partnership? Man, we could expect a lot, man. We could expect, I got trips everywhere. I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get off this bracelet right now. I got trips trips like booked everywhere and i'm talking like i'm talking foreign filming foreign shows like i ain't talking like in america like a lot of motherfuckers is calling like so got that going on got the wonder boy mixtape about the pop we're gonna see a couple more videos shit is about to be crazy about to just turn up i just got everything i need right now you feel me so i'm, I'm gonna utilize it you feel me and i got the right niggas back me so we're gonna utilize this you feel me? i got you so, do you have any regrets with how any of this stuff went down, you know, with, you know... Nah, man, because cause everything happens for a reason. Everything happens for a reason, man. You heard it. I mean, God ain't put nothing, ain't nothing, that's nothing that we can't get ourselves out of, so... It's all a test at the end of the day, my nigga, you heard? It's all a, it's all a test, my nigga. Yeah. Um, what, what can we expect from you in 2016 coming up? Man, just expect, like, a lot of work ethics, you feel me? Like, real talk, like, Wonder Boy, a lot of, I mean, a lot of, lot, lot of features, upscale features, too, like, like, a, got the Wonder Boy mixtape popping. I'm gonna put people the tool back out. I'm gonna put that shit out, feel me, finally. I'm gonna put, um, I'm gonna put that Slice Your Throat mixtape up. And you already know, man, it's the, it's the red 